All right, shalom and praises be unto you, whole Basham Yahushai, Basham Makak Wadash, the Belong unto the Elder Apostle, the Elder Bishops, a great millstone who were well. And he taught us his truth, man. And um, this is just going to be a quick one here. Um, you know, and I may do a longer video on it, you know, all through the spirit, man. Um, you know, I could, you know, see like a longer version of this going out, but. You know, again, you know, if the Holy Spirit, you know, jumps on me to do it, but um, pretty much it's dealing with um, um, the fact that, you know, the Lord ain't playing this merch game, you know, this merchandise game, you know, filibustering, you know, alternative avenues and pathways created. You know, try, people trying to make a, a separate lane within the truth, man. There's only one lane. And that's to teach the Bible in truth and in sincerity onto the edification of the of the uh, body of the believers, man. Okay, the hopeful elect. You know, but you've got people that have created pathways and lanes whereby they can make money, um, you know, access fame um, in a wicked light. You know, and generally, you know, benefit themselves or themselves, man. And the scriptures speak about, you know, they that hazarded their life essentially for the sake of the truth, you know. But then on the contrary, you've got wicked niggas that are trying to prosper their life off the truth, you know, which is wicked. And, um, you know, IUIC, Sakari, all these groups come to mind with the new thing, IUIC TV and that. But um, what comes to mind is um, the one time Yahweh Shai, you know, got to to whooping man, you know, he um, you know, he 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 whipped them up man, you know. Now, <clears throat> that's not to say well, oh the Lord did that so we can do that, you know. We ain't gonna go around, you know, putting hands on anybody or things of that nature, man. Um, because we're not in that time, you know, and um, a very important lesson, <clears throat> you know, that we should all remember is that what some men of the Lord, you know, what some uh, prophets, you know, I mean, excluding Yahweh Shai, because, you know, he's above like, the office of a prophet and that, but I'm just speaking in general, you know, men that are in this truth, men that we read of, of old, things of that nature, what some men of the Lord, pillars in the faith and prophets could do, not everyone can do, you know, and the same sentiments even runs to this day, you know, just because you see a particular brother able to do something or in a position or uh, he's in that type of spirit where it runs with him, you know, you try that or I try that, it doesn't quite work the same and you end up in a world of trouble, you know. So don't just read this scripture and think, oh, well, Yahweh Shai, you know, he got physical one time with them, so I can do the same thing. You know, you get physical and the Holy Spirit won't be with that. You know, oh, but Yahweh Shai, you ain't Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Simple, you know. Um, so anyhow, this is John chapter 2, and I'm going to start from verse 13. And the reason I'm highlighting this is because it, it, it shows, man, that the Lord was never with this merchandise and other avenues, man. You know, these other avenues, the Lord was never with that, man. You know, if you love me, feed my sheep. That's the avenue. Teach the word. Any other pathway, any other avenue, any other artificial lane that people try and construct within this truth is not for the glory of the Lord because the Lord never acquired that. It, it's for self-gain. So this is John 2 and 13, and the Jews, um, which would be um, Yahweh Dayam, um, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, right? Because <coughs> uh, they, they were the tribes that were predominantly there at the time, although you did have a very, very, very small remnant of the other tribes. Uh, Passover was at hand, and Yahweh Shai went up to Yerushalayim. Now, <clears throat> the scriptures speak about three times a year to stand before the Lord. One of them being the Passover. So, 
you had various diasporas of um, Israelites all over, you know, but around the Passover, Jerusalem would be very busy, you know, Israel would be very busy, namely Jerusalem, um, uh, because uh, a lot of Israelites from the various diasporas would be coming in, you know, case on point, Simon of Cyrene, um, why was he in Jerusalem, you know, the man who helped Yahweh carry his cross? Cyrene is in North Africa, but he, he so happened to be in Jerusalem at that time because he'd come down to observe and keep the Passover, you know. Um, now, that's not to say you can only keep the Passover if you're in Jerusalem, you know, but um, that's what the people did. They would come down into Jerusalem to keep the Passover, even Yahweh Shai and his parents, you know, um, came into Jerusalem even when he was growing up. You know, to observe the various feasts and things of that nature, man. You know, that's when Yahweh Shai went missing um, at age 12. Because he'd just become a man. Bar Matazawaf, son of the commandment. You know, and he was liaising with the, um, the scribes and things in the, in, that, in, the, in the temple, man. Um, and it was all around the Pesach time. So anyhow, um, it says here in verse 15, And when he had made a scourge, no, so like in verse 14, and found him in the temple, those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and in chains of money sitting. Yeah. Why? Because they knew they were opportunists. They knew that a lot of people would be in town. So now's the time to sell and put the price high so they can make good money and be lucrative of of the of the um the high holy day season, you know. So they were being basically financial opportunists. Um, um, and, and, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changes of money. And, and when he had made the scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changes money and overthrew the tables, you know. And, you know, this idea of Jesus Christ is always this soft um, type of dude, man. You know, well... How do you, what would you make, you know, a whip of three chords for? You know, how do you softly and gently push over a table and let the sheep go out of the cages? How do you gently do that? You know, <laughs> there was force to it, you know. So the one time Yahweh Shai, um, you know, got physical on the people is is when they were being financial opportunists, man. You know, the Lord don't like that shit. He don't play that game. Okay. <clears throat> verse um, verse 16. And said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, and make not my father's house and house of merchandise. Now, bearing in mind the house of the Lord is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Outside of the physical temple back then, the house of the Lord is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosai shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty, is this truth. So when you make money off this truth and create other avenues and glory for yourself, money for yourself, fame and status for yourself, pride basically, what the hell do you think happens, man? You, you, you're conjuring up the same anger in the Lord that he had over 2,000 years ago when he whipped them out of the temple and threw over their shit, Okay. And his disciples, verse 17, and his disciples remembered that it was written, the zeal of thine house have eaten me up. You know, so Yahweh Shai doesn't play that financial opportunist uh, game, creating another lane, some artificial lane, you know, to ride off the truth in the temple, man. The, the, the Lord don't play that, okay? He didn't go and talk to them, oh, brother, what are you selling? Oh, brother... What are you doing? Oh, no, don't do that. Please stop. No. He made a whip. He whipped them niggas. And he overthrew their shit. Okay? Simple lads, man. You know? And that was Yahweh Shai when he came as a lamb. Now, the scripture says he will not meet thee as a man. You know? And you always talk about, all oh, the Lord coming back to get these Edomites and the other nations. And the Lord is going to wipe out a lot of niggas when he comes back too. I will not meet thee as a man applies to niggas too. Okay? 
the Lord said judgment would start at his house, man. You know? So to all you groups out there fucking around, making merchandise of the truth, playing games, trying to run semantics and create your own artificial lane in this truth, man. Be very careful and be warned, man. All right? Because the same Yahweh Shai that whipped them out the temple and threw their shit over is the same Lord coming back in great power, man. Okay? It would behoove us all to not misuse this truth, man. Yahweh Shai will get you, man. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai will get you.